I can't find the camera. Do you know where it is? Shoot, I hope I didn't pack it away. I just closed up the last box. Oh yeah, I found it. Here it is. Now that we found the camera. Good morning, subscribers. Are you guys ready for the big news? I can't believe we're going to tell them. We're moving to, to California. California. <laughs> Woo! I feel like change is just hard for anyone. Growing, get those getting older. You guys are moving. Like, it's just not easy, you know? Like, nothing's easy in life that is, like, good. Like, when I think about it, I get it really sad, too. And so, I think that's just normal emotions that come up when change happens. Anything. It's going to challenge you, but you're doing it. You're done. You got it. It's like, do you want to go out of your comfort zone to, like, do something you've always wanted to do? Or do you want to just be comfortable and, like, you always have, like, that what if. Right. But, like, you know, you just live your best life. Yeah. I say... Understand. <laughs> That's the gracious scream. He's excited too. We just put him to bed down for a second nap. So guys, we've actually been planning this since February. And I can't believe I'm actually telling you guys. I hope this makes sense on the things that I needed to do. I told you guys that I needed to get my ducks in order. I needed to tell lots of family. Yes, lots. And it was, that was the hardest part of this all. And we didn't want to break it to them until we were for sure. And we had to make sure that there were some things like with Kikoa's work and just all the things. So I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions. And the first one we want to answer is why. This has been something that has, weighing, has been weighing on our hearts um, for so, so long. Kikoa and I have lived in Hawaii our entire lives. He is born here and I'm from Oregon, but I've lived here since I was five, four years old. So it's all I really know. And we have, I think before YouTube, before anything, Kikoa and I actually tried to move to Las Vegas pre-Ayla. And we've always just wanted to experience life outside of Hawaii. So then we had kids and the dream of that us moving to Vegas kind of went away and Since they're so young right now and Ela is the only the only one that's going to be going to school We figured this would be the best time to go up to the go up to the mainland and just try to live out our dreams and just do YouTube full-time Especially too with COVID this year or you know, whatever this last few years We've really like been stuck at home and we have just this drive to go out and adventure with our kids. We really want to just travel and road trip and just really soak in the time with them when they're young. Um, when they get older, they'll be in soccer practice and school and you know, we'll just have a more tight schedule and I feel like now more than ever, this is the time we could truly just 
adventure. Like I don't even know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna we're gonna have fun. We are definitely. We want to give them a white Christmas this year, so I think during we're December, gonna go to the snow. we want to take them up to like a resort. We want to be able trip. to drive wherever we want. And we have no idea where this next adventure is going to take us. We just know that being stuck in Hawaii, although we love it so much, this is where our family is, there's not much opportunity for us to be able to spend that quality time with our children. Full-time YouTubers. <laughs> we... What? No, it what? sounded like a jingle. Full-time YouTubers. That is right, you guys heard that correctly. We wanna, we, our goal is to try to get up five videos a week. And Kiko always said that if he wasn't working, he would love to put more into the vlogs. Um, and right now I'm averaging like two to three, if, if that. And let me tell you guys, that's with putting videos up at 10 o'clock at night till one in the morning. It is so, so hard on me and I always think, during the day, if Kiko could just take them outside to play and I could have two hours, to invest in my video and then when like Mesa's napping like another two hours because believe it or not editing takes like five to six hours for me to literally start to end to get a video up that's with thumbnail everything Kikoa is going to be leaving his job we don't know if it's going to be for sure like for sure yeah we don't know if it's going to be for sure forever forever but we, we're going to try, we're going to put all of our passion and love into this next year of our life and we'll see where it takes us. I think what's so cool about life is the next chapter is never promised and if Kikwa didn't take this little leap, then he probably would be working his sheet metal job for the rest of his entire life, right? And retire with it. So he's going to venture out and see if there's anything else more to what he wants to do, if he finds any passions that spark him. I'm excited. How do you feel about what you're going to be doing? It's just like, it's it's bittersweet, but I feel, I feel like it's going to be much greener. Like on the other side, like it's at least I'm still not being at like work every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just like have a positive attitude on it. And like honestly, I'm not really trying to think about it. Yeah, we're not thinking about the next step. I'm like, trying to just when like, we think about it, that's when it gets scary. I'm like, just what are we like, doing? Yeah, I just want to <laughs> live in the moment. Live in the moment, seriously, and like just take it all in. Yeah, for sure. And it's going to be such a big change for the both of us. Yes. Um, we have so much help here in Hawaii. We have so much family. We go to family parties like every weekend. And so it's just going to be a big change that it's just going to be us. So how we made this happen was we save, 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 um, save. We have and enough. Save. We have enough More. saved up um, to probably live comfortably budgetly for the next year um, and then on top of that we Kikoa's job he actually works for the union here in Hawaii and it is transferable to California he actually the house that we got we got a house so that was something that I, we wanted to make sure that we had before um, we shared it with you guys but well, I mean, maybe not because we are maybe going to Airbnb it for a while until we found something. We yeah, thought we were, homeless. we thought we were poop out of luck for a second because, um, no one would even give us the time of day. And then apply, when apply, we found yeah. out, when they found out we were in Hawaii and we couldn't come and view the property, like they, it was done. Like they didn't want to hear anything else from us. But we found a place and where he is located, they actually have his union in that same town. Like, not it's not the same union, it's just... It's the same union, but it's international. That's so awesome. So it's just like, it's the same union internationally. So let's so just you say... you can transfer through all, to all the different states and that's pretty so much cool. do the same job, yeah. So if... I, I don't know. I, I don't know. We don't know what's going to happen, but... We do have backup. We're not just moving our three kids and taking this leap of faith without backup. And truly, I don't think we need backup. I think life is just so beautiful we that can way. We make, make something happen. Right? That you, you just you, you will literally have a path 
provided for you. We actually have so much videos lined up after this of telling our kids, telling our family, um, packing up our house. Like, believe it or not, our house is like halfway emptied already. I'm going to be showing you guys the process of looking for a house, all just the drama that I've been dealing with. I've been documenting it for the last February, March, April, May, June, July. The last five months, I have so, so much content coming your way. So I promise you it will fill you guys in with the whole just behind the scenes story of this move. Don't miss it. We are going on a family vacation with Kikoa's family. His sister is graduating, so we are going to Vegas, Las Vegas first. And that's always been set in stone since last year. Have we always known about this since last year? I don't even remember. Um, yeah, pretty much. I think since last year. In the past, if you guys have been following our journey for a while, we usually do Vegas and um, California and we'll road trip it. We've right. done that trip with our kids. We've gone to Disneyland and then we'll road trip it. Um, to Las Vegas. So with that being said, we thought in our minds we could take this graduation is right around Law's birthday. So we thought we could road trip it to California and take Law to Legoland for his birthday. This was before Disneyland was even open. Then Disneyland announced that they're opening. So we bought Disneyland tickets and then we've been weighing on our hearts secretly. Just should we move? Should we not? Can we make this happen? Is this realistic? Forward, Do we even want this? Do we just want to? And they were like, no, we shouldn't. They we shouldn't. Like, we shouldn't. And then what happened was Kiko and I looked in. As you guys know, we have drama with our landlord. I guess it's not drama. We just know that she's fixing our house to have us out. To, to sell it she's been having painters and just all the things so we looked into buying a home here in Hawaii and we have a really good friend that's a realtor his sister is the banker we ran numbers and to make a long story short we cannot afford anything in that we want we could afford a condo and that's about it yeah no single family home and we were just Three like three bedroom and up is out the window we, there are no single family homes. I want a yard for my kids. And something you guys should know about me is I moved probably once or twice a year my entire life. Kikoa's mom bought a home, so he's lived in his, the same home his whole life. But I have not ever had that stability, and that's always been a dream for me with my kids. So we had to rethink our entire life. And the rate that we're going now with Kikoa's job it's amazing and I'm sure I could go to work and we could pay child care or we could really try and live out our dreams of being full-time youtubers really putting all of our energy I feel like I put so much energy into YouTube but like all of our energy and I feel like you guys would love to see content of us traveling and road trip and just the I'm, endless possibilities and the consistency yeah because you don't post we don't post as much the consistency you want to. we like are thinking of like we just want to do so so much content wise and we just think that that is the next step in order for us to buy a forever home for our children now we don't know where a forever home will be we have no idea what to expect like we truly never lived anywhere other than an island that's five minutes from a beach and I'm all excited. we know is I'm that excited. All we know is that we want so much more for our life, so much more for our children. We want to spend more time with our kids. And we're um, willing to do whatever We're it willing takes. to do the uncomfortable, scary, fun, out of the box, unimaginable next thing. And that is moving to California. Oh, this I'm is so start. excited. This is the start of our amazing journey guys this is sir we're gonna be looking back on this day our last our last few days in hawaii and we're gonna trip out oh so that's what i was saying was we were already going to vegas and then we are gonna go to california and then we bought we looked into buying a home and we were like we can't afford it and we we're like we're staying when we go on that trip because we're already paying thousands of dollars to get our family of five there we're like we're staying we're buying a one-way ticket yeah and that's literally how it happened yeah 
And so, I mean. That's simple. Not, not fast, but like. We already thought about moving for like the, like I said, since February, but after buying the plane, like really getting into more of the vacation, cause we, maybe we're gonna go on the vacation and then come home and then try and figure it out for like late October. And we just thought like it's a new school year. So Ayla can start like a fresh new year in California. We're already gonna be there on a trip. Like it just worked out such great timing. And then literally when I tell you guys the things that have lined up for us to make this move happen, it will blow your mind. So stay tuned for all those videos to come. Like who's gonna be taking over our house, our cars. Like it has just, Things have worked out for us that like if we didn't take this opportunity, we would be crazy. We've had such great things lined up to make this as smooth sailing, as easy as possible. Even though like we've had really hard moments, the renting the home process alone took everything out of me. I would get up in the morning at 6 a.m. and search new on homes. I would apply. We spent hundreds of dollars on rental applications and they needed transfer letters and just all these things. Kikua had to do a lot on his end. So there's just a lot of footage that I have to show you guys. Um, and that is another reason why vlogs have been very inconsistent because I've been filming for like this whole series that I'm about to drop. This needed to come out first. But before this could come out, we needed to tell our family. And a lot of family did know, but the two main most important people that we didn't tell were Kikoa's mama and my dad. And I was so freaking nervous to tell my dad. Me too. And we recently just told them, like we didn't want, like when I told my mom, she bawled her eyes out. And that was my first indication that I'm only telling my dad if this is like actually happening. Cause we would like go back and forth. Like some days we'd be like, no, we're not doing it. Yeah, and then we'd be like, come on, let's, let's do it. And then we'd be like, yeah, let's call everybody. And we just wanted to wait after that. And to be honest, there were days that I was not doing it. And Kikoa, like he really, really wanted to do it. It's just like in Hawaii, we have, we have a lot of people that we can count on over here. And it's like just a lot, it's just comfortable at some times. So uh, I think it's really going to help us grow as people and adults. As a couple. As a couple. As a family. As a family to just let us be on our own. Yeah. Like self-sufficient wise. And I think it'll be fun. I am really strong. I'm yeah. the most self-sufficient woman you could possibly imagine. I think. She, yeah. Not to like pat my own back, but I've kind of like been doing things on my own for a She's long time. She's been doing big boy things lately big person things lately. yeah don't be saying boy i don't think any boys can do what i do yeah not much girls can either i pretty much did this entire move like over the oh my gosh get real no but i just mean like <laughs> yeah. i found so many amazing opportunities for us our house our car yeah no, she, you did you did i just i i There's literally no doubting that. i couldn't believe everything that i did on my own transferring over things and bank accounts like it has just been such a learning process for me all right i think that is officially everything we want to tell you guys until next time we'll see you all next time for, for another, another sun kiss, kiss day. day good, good night, night guys, guys.